our local Walmart. We're running a few errands. I have to be at work a couple of hours, but uh, three weeks away, Lexington Comic Con. A bunch of my tag team brothers are coming to Kentucky. Uh, Life Anime Gaming, Overkill 48, Elite Legends, Figures and Collectibles, uh, uh, Judson Osgood, among you know whoever else is going to that con. I'm very excited. I'm three weeks away today, so I'm not trying to buy anything. But if I saw that WrestleMania Undertaker, it would have to come out of my convention money, which is pretty much as bottom as I want it to be right now. I don't want to take from that, but at the same time, it's Undertaker. So anyway, I'm about to have breakfast with Sam in our Walmart. Like many Walmarts in this country, there's a McDonald's inside. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. See? And they have donut sticks. So let's do the taste test. Want one, baby? No, thank you. Sam's passing. I'll do one dry. This is what they look like. Kind of look like a little churro almost. They feel light. They feel like a uh, beignet, if you're familiar. Cafe Du Monde. Shout out, New Orleans. Feels like a beignet in texture, so. center is really chewy the exterior is like no the center is soft the, out, the exterior is chewy and it's fluffy the whole thing it's warm there's just the right amount of sugar and cinnamon on it it's good you get uh, six of them in a little baggie like this like a dollar sixty so I got a large coffee to go with it so I'm gonna be dunking the other ones if I find anything here you'll see it on camera Okay, I'm back from Walmart. As you can see, um, there was nothing in the toys. It was completely ravaged. The shelves are empty. The pegs are empty. Uh, Ninja Turtles were in a different spot than they normally are, which means maybe they're planning to do a research, a reset soon at my main Walmart where I live in Ashland. So we'll keep our, our fingers crossed. It wasn't a totally fruitless day though. It did pick up Wreck-It Ralph, Breaks the Internet. I've not seen this yet. We didn't we wanted to see it last year, but we were moving. Just didn't have the time or the funds to go to the theater. So, picked it up on 4K. This is my second 4K movie. I'm sorry, third. So, I'm looking forward to watching this. I've heard nothing but good things. Extremely funny, just like the first one. I really identify with the first Wreck-It Ralph very much. So that's the collector's edition and there's Ralph guarding it. And this right here is a box from my good friend and fellow collector and uh, toy enthusiast, uh, toy photography uh, expert. His name's Wes. Uh, he goes by the ghost with the most 89 on Instagram. His Instagram will be right here. Check it out. His photography is amazing. He is uh, letting go of some of his collection. I already cut the box open, so he's selling pieces. If you want to look at his Instagram and see what's still available, for whatever his reasons are for his personal life, he has to liquidate some of his collection. So if you're after really good quality, he takes excellent care of his toys. 
And this is what I was able to buy off of him at a phenomenal deal. Thank you so much, Wes, for your expedient shipping and the price and what I'm getting from you, brother. I really appreciate it. A lot of people don't know that Wes is actually a member of the tag team, he, although he's not a YouTuber. He is very active in the community on Instagram. Let's go ahead and put this right here and uh, get this open. So yeah, I highly advise checking out his IG and seeing what's still available. We're talking multiverse, we're talking black series, we're talking mostly Marvel Legends. Some diamond selects, probably. And what I have here that I purchased off him, off of phenomenal price, is a figure I've had my eye on ever since our other buddy and fellow tag member, Overkill48, Overkill Hunts and Halls. That's Monster Venom. Thank you so much, Wes. He's awesome. And uh, I'm still looking for what you're asking for. I got one, one of two, so far. Going back there today as we speak. But uh, my cousin and other tag team toy member, uh, that's Venom Fane, needs no introduction. His channel's very successful. He's growing expediently. He's on the verge of hitting 1K, becoming monetized. I couldn't be more proud or happy for him. He is in the process of building this beast, so. If you're needing a full review and breakdown of the articulation and putting together of this toy, check out Van Fan's channel right here. But yeah, that's all I got. I'm going to end it here. I got to make my way to work. You guys have a great uh, rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out the rest of the tag team toy collectors. They will be in the description of the video. Uh, with that being said, well, I'm going to wreck it. We'll end it on Ralph's scene. Catch you on the next upload, Sam and I.